me and my uh, driver. Nearly 50 years ago, Joe Jocelyn found himself overseas fighting an enemy from a military tank. While his time in Vietnam's firmly placed in the past, its effect on everyday life in the here and now. I've managed to lose my right leg up to mid thigh. Is always there. Diabetes linked to Agent Orange cost him his limb, and now he's battling the veterans benefit claims process for a normal life. Without somebody to help, I am homebound. In March 2011, he applied for a grant to purchase a van, allowing him to travel on his own. As it stands right now, his wife is forced to load and unload him and his hefty wheelchair wherever they go. Frankly, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and stress, not to mention, you know, no independence for me at all. Didn't say why. I found out when I got there. He's coming up on a year in the process and still no decision. Somebody that isn't prone to depression can get depressed trying to deal with the frustration of dealing with the system. And he believes there are delays in the system that point to a lack in efficiency, like the four months it took the VA to realize a form hadn't been filled out by the doctor who had examined them required by the VA. This country is capable of drafting you, putting you boot camp, and putting you in a war zone within six months. So why can't they process a claim that fast?